In this model, we will understand fluids, the characteristics of pressure exerted by fluids and difference between solid pressure and fluid pressure. Looking at fluids, students, what is fluids? Substances which can flow are called fluids. Examples, liquids are fluids and gases are fluids. One most important thing about fluids is fluids exert pressure. Like for example, during cyclones, you must have seen gases exert pressure, a tremendous amount of pressure. During floods, you must have seen liquids exert a huge amount of pressure. So fluids can exert pressure. Now, let us see what are the characteristics of pressure exerted by fluids. The first characteristic is fluids exert pressure on the walls and base of the container. That is, if you put a fluid into a container, it will exert pressure on the walls and the base. The second characteristic of fluid is pressure exerted by fluid is transmitted undiminished in all directions. Undiminished means without being reduced. Now that is if you put a fluid that is air into a balloon, the pressure will be transmitted undiminished in all directions. So this was the characteristics of pressure exerted by fluids. Going further, talking about liquid pressure, pressure exerted by liquids is mainly due to the weight of the liquid and the characteristics of pressure exerted by liquids is the first feature is at a given depth pressure remains the same. Let us understand this with the help of this example. Here take a pot and make three holes A, B, C at the same depth. So I have made three holes A, B and C at the same depth. Now when water is poured inside or this pot is filled, you can see the pressure at all three points A, B and C is the same as the depth is the same. So fluid pressure through all the holes is same as the depth is the same in all three cases. The second characteristic is it depends on the height or depth of the liquid. That means here I make three holes A, B and C at different heights. Now what do I notice? When I pour water, you can see the pressure at A, B and C is different. So fluid pressure is different at different height. Looking at the third characteristic, it is independent of the size and shape of the container. So I take a different container of different shape and in this container, I make holes at the same height as in the previous example. And what do I notice? As the height of the holes is the same, the pressure of the fluid is also same. Hence, we understand that fluid pressure is independent of the size and shape of the container. So there is no change in liquid pressure at these three points. Students going further, let us understand what is the difference between solid pressure and fluid pressure. For this, we take this book, which is a solid of course. And here, as we have this particular solid, a solid exerts pressure on the surface due to its weight. So if you take a solid, it will exert pressure on the surface due to its weight. But let us consider fluids, that is liquid and gas together called fluids. In a fluid, a fluid has weight. They also exert pressure on the container in which they are enclosed. Secondly, a fluid exerts pressure in all directions. Right? So this is the basic difference between solid pressure and fluid pressure.